Hello, teacher. How are you? Hello, Vladimir. Good evening. How are you, mister? Good. How about you? I'm just great. We were missing you yesterday yes, for class. Yes, teacher. I had a lot of work yesterday. I need to prepare a PPT for CO. I remember that I told you the last week. Okay. And, and at the last time, my boss told me that this ratios, how do you say ratios? What? Ratios, uh, like economic ratios. Radios. Ratios in Spanish? Yeah, radios. Radios and Roy, return of his version. A lot of things that that's that's how do you say how do you say you uh, me canso mentalmente? Uh, yeah. They tire me out. That okay, they tire me out, and I was check out later, almost 7:45. Oh my gosh, what time did you get home? Oh there aren't many traffic jam. There wasn't. Um, there wasn't many traffic jam. And I guess A5. A yes, I, A5. A5. A05, A sorry. sorry. At A05. But uh, I didn't take lunch because I go to pay something from my from my wife. And then I eat lunch like only a fruit and I was hungry. Yeah, I can imagine. Yes, sorry. And it, then I have dinner. I need to connect, VPN connect to the central bank for follow the PPT. Oh man, so you were working on- Yes, today, but it was terrible yesterday, but I, I sent her the PPT today. Okay, I don't know. At what, at what time did you finish working last night? Um, almost 9.30 or 9.45. Oh, really? Wow. Yes, Pretty yes. Crazy. Okay. Yes. Oh, my goodness. It was terrible. Yeah, I can imagine. It was terrible, yes. And, well, but that's the way it is. That's the way it is. Yeah, that's the way it is. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's the job. What else can we do? Yes. Yeah. If, if I want to grow up in the central bank, I need to do that kind of things. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, sometimes that happens. Sometimes uh, you're, I mean, the, 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 the quantity of activities you we have to do, uh, they increase just because the boss wants us yes. to work more. The, the problem teacher is that I am playing three roles. I am coordinator, I am senior, and I am a specialist because oh, really? there aren't the other two plazas. Oh, how do you say plazas or what kind? Are they are vacancies? They, uh, they are in vacancy. Oh, there are. No, they are vacancy. Sorry, they are vacancy. The senior and the coordinator, no people. Ah. So, so I, I do the three roles. So you are playing the three roles. You play the yes. roles. Play the roles. Yes, yes. That's the the word. Yeah, it's difficult when you have to assume yes. more more responsibilities than the ones you usually perform yes <laughs> you know but what i mean, mean <laughs> yeah i know i know exactly what you mean i mean today uh, uh, my boss needed to present one of my bosses needed to present a report yeah. to the ministry of education and do you teacher do you want listen a, a joke yeah tell me they they bring me that cell phone. Uh, it is, I, how do you say it? It significa? It, it means that I am 
seven siete veinticuatro seven forty four oh seven twenty four no twenty four yes. seven and twenty four seven sorry <laughs> oh so you have to be on call yes because is the problem when the problem starts on Sunday because um, it was a cyber incident about Microsoft Exchange Server. Uh, it, there, there is a, a thread in the wheel. So we need to, to patch the server that are in the central bank. Wow, and that's kind of difficult. Yeah, no, no, because I am the cybersecurity senior. Not I difficult, support. but time consuming, perhaps. Yes, the problem is that you you must do it in hours that don't interrupt the operations. So that means after hours. Yes, uh, we did it almost at six to 7 30 p.m. That's the time that that's the time that I spends install the patching. Oh, it's yes, not, it's not easy cheesy your your job. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, but and then uh, what else I can need... we do? Sorry? What else could we do? Que más uh, hacer? Ah, yes. <laughs> And I then that. I need to continue with the PPT. After well, this class? No, no, yesterday, oh, yesterday. 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 After install the patch with my with my partner, I need I need to continue with the PPT from the CEO of Central Bank. Hey Mauricio, what's up? Hey Mauricio, welcome. It's not listening. Oh, no, Mauricio, how are you? Okay, teacher, nice talking to you. Nice talking to you, Vladimir, thank you. Let's see, Mauricio is trying to connect to the audio. Mauricio, Can not in this audio. Your microphone is off. And I think he's fighting. Yes, we can see you, but we cannot hear you. Now we do. Resolverlo. Now we do. Ahora sí. Hello, Mauricio. Me How are you? Yes, we do. Hi, teacher. How are you? Problemas. Problemas. I'm fine. Stress with the machine. Yes. Or with or with the internet connection. Internet connection is oh, my machine. Your machine. My machine. And this is garbage. O sea, no sé cómo decir basura. Look, Mister, uh, working online, working almost all day. Uh, I just crashed a, a laptop. Este, en un año de trabajo, de trabajando la casi de 8 a 12 horas diarias, ya me terminé una laptop. It was brand new in March last year. Estaba nuevecita en marzo del año pasado. No, la mía sí ya tiene dos años, pero. And it's dead, I mean, sometimes if I turn it on, sometimes uh, if if I use it for a class, I mean, I get the, the blue screen, me aparece ya la pantallita azul, hard disk, eh, no boot, no encuentra el arranque, so it's there. Yo esta la tengo que destapar de vez en cuando, apretar el disco duro, eh, <laughs> limpiarle <laughs> memorias, pero ahorita no hay máquina, así que hay que esperarse. <laughs> Could be then closer. If you need to push the, the hard, this could be the enclosure. Sorry, it's a little closer. 
Sí, eso. Al final tengo un enclosure donde tengo todas las cosas, pero... No, y es más, todo lo que es fotografía ya la subí a Google Fotos para guardarlas porque definitivamente si, yeah. si me maltratan el disco duro porque lo ocupo para varias cosas y ya ha tocado suelo, entonces lo que me preocupa las fotos been there been there been there that happened to me once with a i had a computer a bio a sony bio man expensive and my hard disk crash so i Eso needed to buy an, another one but i lost all the information everything was lost it was sad a mí me pasó, pero yo borré, yo formateé un disco duro, pero lo hice bien superficialmente, entonces en ese entonces me, me ponía a travesear bastante, recuperé de, del 100%, bien recuperé un 60% oh, de great. lo que había perdido y varias cosas con otros nombres, pues, pero se recuperaron fotografías, archivos de la universidad, pero That's fue great. traumante. Eh, bueno, varias there, noches de estar esperando que el volado se estuviera recogiéndolo, pero bueno, eh, historias de máquinas. Eh, been there, been there, done that. That expression, been there, done that. It means, that expression means, I have had the same experience. Esa expresión quiere decir, ya me pasó a mí. Ah, triste, triste. Yeah, it is. Thank you, Mauricio. Let's see, let's see. Daisy, hello, how are you? Elizabeth. Bebe lindo mi libreta. Daisy, can you hear me? Me escucha? Hello. How are you? How was your day, Elizabeth? No lo lees. I hear you so far away. Le escucho a lo lejos. More or less. What time did you get home tonight? What time? Yes. Okay. At what time, a qué hora, did you get home? Llegó home tonight. Oh, early. That's early. That's great. Ready for the class? Oh, really? What was for dinner? ¿Qué hubo para la cena? Okay. In English? Beans, rice, white. What else? Uh, ¿Qué más? Queso. Cheese. Cheese. That's cool. Well, thank you very much, Daisy. We will greet somebody else. Vamos a saludar a alguien más. Edwin, hello, mister. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Everybody. Good evening. I'm so so. So so, why, man? What happened? Traffic. Oh, Traffic. What? What? <laughs> yeah. what time? What time did you get home? Three hours. It took you three hours to get home. Nah. Um, traffic to. Poliedro Lourdes. Yes, by Poliedro. By Poliedro Lourdes at uh, Desvío de Opico. 
all that way, todo ese camino. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. man. That's What, terrible. Uh, about uh, one hour. Uh, one hour or uh, in hora y media. Just in, just in that space. Solo en ese pedazo, hora y media. You should have gotten faster by walking. Yeah. No, pero qué horrible. Yeah, I can imagine. I know, I know the traffic over there is terrible. So you just terrible. arrived home. Yeah. I, oh. uh, today, uh, 7 a.m. in, como dice, checking in my work. Okay, and you check out? 5, 5 p.m. 5. So you just arrived home. Acaba de llegar. Yeah. Okay, so you just arrived home. Man, that's terrible. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, that's terrible. We... <laughs> Tra traffic, I mean, usually, in my case, usually for me, traffic is, is not that much stressful. Normalmente yo no me estreso para el tráfico. Unless I have something like it. I need to be somewhere to teach a class on certain time. A menos que tenga que estar en un lugar para dar una clase. Man, I get anxious. Pues la verdad, para, entre, para venir temprano, para recibir la clase, y aún así me agarró la tarde. Man, that happens, that happens. Don't worry. The good thing is that you are here. Thank you very much, Edwin. Thanks, teacher. Let's see. Oscar. Hello, Oscar. How are you? Fine. Thank you, teacher. Good, good evening. How are you? How was your day, mister? Fine, thank you. Okay. Um, uh, with uh, a lot of work. Okay, I can imagine. We were missing you yesterday. Uh, con trabajo work y regresando tarde okay. what no, time no pude estar. what time did you get Pero, what time did you get home yesterday last night um night uh, um night uh 9 p.m. 9 p.m. It was late. Yes, sir. It was very late. Yes. But the good thing is that you are here tonight. Lo bueno es que aquí está hoy. That's great. That's great. <laughs> Thank you, Oscar. Welcome to the class. Thank Let's you, see. teacher. Evelyn. Hello, Evelyn. How are you? Hello, teacher. Right. Hola, buenas noches. Regálame de combustible. <laughs> oh, you are driving. <laughs> Drive, you're driving. Que le dé los puntos también en la Texaco. He's in the gas station right now. Yeah, she's yes. in the gas station. Okay, Evelyn, never mind. Let us know when you get home, okay? Yes. yes. Let's see, yes. let's see. Perfect. Hey, Walter Ruiz. Hello, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Tell me, how was traffic for you today? Traffic, only downtown in Armenia. Oh, really? Only. Okay, only. that's Three cool. minutes. Three minutes. Okay, <laughs> you know, Edwin hates you right now. Edwin yeah. doesn't like you right now. It took him I three know. hours to get But home. But for me, only minutes. Man, that's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> So, how was your day, Walter? Uh, a busy day. Very, very busy. A busy day? Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. And what time did you check out? I checked out at 5 p.m. At 5 p.m. So, around 5.30, you were relaxed, set in your house. Yes. That's cool. No, did you have no, been? Man. 
Five twenty. Oh my gosh, that's cool. So you have dinner already? Yes, I did. Okay. Uh, a few uh, moments. Okay, a few moments ago. A few moments ago. Okay, tell me, what did you have for dinner? Soup. Soup. Yes. Soup for dinner. Soup yeah. for dinner. Cool. It's That's not, nice. It's not, not usual. Okay. That's nice. That's nice. Diet. Dieta. It's good. I'm sorry. Dieta. Diet. Oh, you are on a diet. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. What type of diet are you in? Chupitle. ¿Qué tipo de dieta? Uh, only. Mm, let me see. Solo una comida en el día. One meal. Hold on. It could be one meal a day. One meal a day. A day. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, Man. it's very complicated to start. The first yeah. week is very complicated. I but can imagine. I'm not complicated. I'm so you're, you're losing weight. Yeah. Está perdiendo peso. Okay. Yes. Well, actually, in that case, in your case, it's like the, 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 like boxers, you are cutting on weight. Está cortando peso. Because that yes. weight is going to go fast. Mm -hmm. That's cool. Well, thank you, Walter. Welcome. <laughs> Let's see who else is around. Berta. Hello, Berta. How are you? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Miss? Fine. Very sad. Why? My, my day in, in my work is. ¿Cómo decir? Es, mi día estuvo cansado. My day was tiring. My day was my day tiring. Forever. Okay. My don't day worry. was tired. I don't have, worry, don't worry. Yes, Tell I me. have a meeting. Yes. I have a meeting, my co worker, the result project, and supervise supervise and design, structural architect. And hydraulic. Um, uh, that's that's <laughs> yeah, you know, all the the, the because in that area everything is delicate. In this area, all is delicate. It must be to the point. Yes. Exact. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. Well, welcome to the class, Berta. Thank you. Arbin, hello Arbin, how are you? Hello, good evening teacher. How are you mister? Um, um, I felt dread, but in very good health. That's good. You are tired, just tired. Cansado nada más. Yes. Yeah, tired. Uh, the day of now work a lot. Okay. Oh, you didn't work a lot. That's cool. Yes. That's actually cool. Well, welcome to the class. Thank you. Susana, Thank you, good teacher. evening. You're welcome. Good evening, teacher. How are you, Susana? Um, I'm good. I have okay. a little pain but it's, 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 uh, it's, not, se dice? it's nothing. Okay. 
Oh, it's nothing. Okay. I hope it's nothing. Okay, what type of pain you got? A headache, a throat ache? It's abdominal. Oh, abdominal. really? Yes. Mm. Yes. And well, this, I, I have, I have medicine. I have uh, take medicine. I took medicine. I took medicine. Okay. So you took medicine already. That's great. Yes. Okay, guys, just give me a second, please. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was just fixing, fixing something. Let's see. Thank you, Susana. Karen, hello, Karen. Good evening. Welcome. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you, Karen? Um, I'm fine. Okay, Karen, we were missing you yesterday, last night. Extrañamos ayer. I'm sorry, teacher. I'm very guilty. <laughs> okay, don't be guilty, don't be guilty. It's not necessary. Welcome to the class, Karen. Okay, you, guys, teacher. I need to get the attendance. So let's see, Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. No, here. Arvin Enrique Ramos Mundo. Present teacher. Berta Maritza Molina de Villalta. Present teacher. Claudio Guadalupe Alfaro López. I'm here. Daisy Elizabeth Celaya Gómez. Edwin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present teacher. Thank you. Ivani Elizabeth Rodríguez Ramos. Here. Karen Lisset García Rodríguez. I'm present. Luis Armando Leiva Rodas. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Present. Present teacher. Thank you. Just let me do something. Okay. I'm sorry. Oscar Armando Rodríguez Rodríguez. Present teacher. Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monge. No here. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Not here. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Sandra is present. Here. Oh, thank you, Sandra. Present. Sonia Mabela So González. Not here. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present teacher. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Walter Jose Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you, guys. Okay, let's see, guys. We are going to start uh, with a small review about the Alberto frequency, okay? And let me start with this. Okay, I need to share with you this one. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Class seven. Alberto frequency. Okay, I read a book every day. When we say every day, it's the same as we say it. I always read a book. Let me hide this so you can see it better. I always read a book. Next one. I play the saxophone five times a week. Look, five times a week. One time, two times, three times, four times, five times, okay? So when we say five times a week, I usually play the saxophone. There's just two days missing. I ride my bike twice a week. Look, just two times. I often ride my bike. 
I play basketball once a week. Just one time. I sometimes play basketball. I go to the cinema once a month. I go to the cinema once a month. I rarely go to the cinema. Look, just one time a month. I don't drink alcohol. I never drink alcohol. So let's remember, we have always, usually, often, sometimes, rarely, never. So let's see, let's remember, always, 100%. Usually, mm, not that much. Often, look, sometimes. Rarely and never. That's never. Okay. Remember once, one time, twice. When we say twice, we are saying two times, three times, four times, five times. Remember, we do not say one time, we say once. We do not say two times, we say twice. Okay, then we go three times, four times, five times. So remember, this is once, twice, okay? Let's see. I ride my bike twice a week. So let's see, what will be twice a week? Which one of these could it be? Quien me ayuda? Which one do you think is the correct? Let's see, let's see who can help me. Um, usually. 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 Let's see? No. Ooh. No, usually. Rarely. Come on. Rarely. Rarely. No. Mm. Correct. Oh. Often. Often. I walk my dog every day. This is easy. Always. Always. Correct. Thank you, Karen. I play the saxophone five times a week. I? Usually. Correct. Usually. Perfect. Thank you, Vladimir. I go to the cinema once a month. Come on, guys. Rarely. 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 Correct. Perfect. Thank you, Oscar. So we got another one. Let's see. I don't drink alcohol. Never. 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 Correct. Perfect. That's cool. I play basketball once a week. Sometimes. I'm sorry? Sometimes. Sometimes. Correct. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. So we finished that small exercise. Remember, we know this already. It was just a small review but on simple repaso. We already know that topic, okay? We were working on it yesterday. El día de ayer lo trabajamos, right? So, but we still got something else to do because today we are going to work first with ongoing activities at the workplace, okay? Now, in page number 21 from your manuals, we have this. Let me show you. Page number 21 from your manuals. If you got your manual handy, get on it. Si tienen su manual por ahí. If not, I'm going to show it to you. Okay. Okay, we have this exercise. This exercise says add more questions on your own, then interview three different classmates. Okay, we are going to uh, make we are not going to make the six questions. I just need you to add 
three questions, okay? Just three questions. How often do you have meeting? How often do you, mm, I don't know, do something, okay? Like what? Let me show you. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Like here, uh, we could say here, let me see. Name, let's see. Vladimir, Vladimir, open your microphone, please. You are going to help me. Yes. Okay. How often do you have meetings, Vladimir? Uh, oh, every day. That's always, usually. Uh, if you tell me every day, that's always. Okay. That's always. Always. Perfect. Now I need to create another question. Tell me, how often do you, how often do you take break time? Me? How often do you take break times? Yes. Uh, twice a day. Twice a day. That's yes. often. Let's say yes. often. Often. Okay. Often. You see, guys, that's what you are going to do. Then you go to another person, okay? Then you choose somebody else, make the question, and fill in. I just need you to have three questions, okay? We are going to work in groups. Let me just send the pictures. Uh, that's if somebody has some problems with it. Just give me a second, please. Just give me a, a second, man. I need my camera to charge. Okay. Now, guys, do you have, uh, is there any question with the activity? No? Okay. You are going to be working in groups of three members. Hello, Sonia. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Mm -hmm. Late for my class, as yeah. usual. Okay, I arrived guys. at home right now. Oh, remember, Sonia, I am just arriving home. Just arriving home. Okay. Okay, perfect. Okay, guys, groups are created. Please jump in. Okay, let's go check them groups. Let's see. Oh, just Evelyn, that is on your way home, right, Evelyn? Don't worry. We will wait for you. Tres actividades, dijo. Cada una. Pero. Tenemos que agregar preguntas, así como el ejemplo de la 1. Sí, oh, yes, exactly. Yes. Perdón que me, que me acabo de incorporar y quiero confirmar. Entonces tengo que agregar preguntas tres. Es correcto, para cada uno. Y, y el ejercicio. Y preguntarle eh, dónde es name, poner qué compañero me contestó y qué, con, qué hace o okay. qué. Yes, just the other. Exactly, Oscar. Albert. Just the frequency. El adverbio. Va. Okay. Voy a poner las preguntas yo. ¿Cómo? Sería. How often do you have meetings? Yeah, how often do you have meetings, Luis? Sería Juan. Juan. I, I always teacher. 
Okay, I always... Every day, every day. So, so Arvin and Daisy just write, uh, Luis have meetings always. Okay, just the Albert, so let's be well there. Okay. So we, so we make it fast. Oh. When we go back, cuando regresemos, and you report to me, you say me report, and you are going to tell me, Luis has meetings, has... Uh, Luis always has meetings. Okay, Luis okay. always has meetings. That's what you're going to report okay. to me. Vamos okay. a crear nuevas oraciones, teacher. Actually, when you are reporting, cuando me lo reporten, right now you just need to get the Alberts. En este momento solo necesito el adverbio. Mm -hmm. No, por ejemplo, en la fila 2, creamos otra, otra oración. Yeah, another question. Pregunta. Ajá. Yes. Pregunta. Ok. Entonces, Arvin, how do you... Ok. How... Sería, in my case, is normal. Often, usually. Tiene que ser, oh, ajá. Uh -huh. Almost always. In my case, my case, usually. Okay. Is how often do you arrive early? Arrive, arrive. Oh, yes, arrive early. Usually. In your case, usually. Usually. Okay. In the mind, normally. Routing, routing, the routing. Like how routers. often do you have a day off? A day off. A day off. There you go. A day off. Okay. A uh, space. Uh, yep. A question? Yeah. How often do you call? How high? often do you verify route trucks? Oh, okay. No, okay. Trucks verify. 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 Yes. Why? Yeah. Verify. Verify. V e r i f y. Una más. Repeat, please. Verify. Ah, te lo voy a por aquí. Ajá. Espera. Verify. En el chat. Right in the chat. Oh, thanks. Uh, Very good. Rope trucks. Okay. Así sería, teacher. Ya se fue. Yep, It's like that. Uh, no. And another one. And how often do you work at night? Yeah. Oh. Uh, la take Ooh. break times. I take For break me, time. Uh, time. Hardly Something. ever. I hardly ever take break time. I hardly, hardly ever take break. Yes, remember the Albert before the verb. Hardly ever. Verbio antes del verbo. Okay, Riz dijo, Walter Riz dijo, hardly, hardly ever. ever. Yes. Y, Ara, y, y Walter Arana? Yeah. Oh, What? you got both Walters, Karen. <laughs> I cook. I cook. Never. Okay. How how often do you cook? Cook. That's the question. How often do you cook? How often do you cook? I cook. Never. I never cook. I never cook. Remember, I Karen, know. el adverbio va antes del verbo. I never cook. I never cook. Um, um, and you will... Te vas. Okay. Así como está, have, have, have meetings. Yeah. Solo take vacation. Y entonces yo le voy a poner... Never. Ajá. 
tengo como tres pedidos retrasados. <risa> Never. That's against the law, Eso es ¿Oh? against the law. That's against sí. the law. Oscar, uh, three times. Sí, ya se oh. perdieron. <risa> eh, no, pero quiero ver, ahí le puedo poner que por una vez al año, once, um, once, once, a once, once, once a year. Once. Uh -huh. Aunque no todas, pero algo agarra. Once uh, a year. year. Okay. Uh, once Oscar, a year también. Three times. Mauricio. Once a once, year. Once a year. Generalmente. <laughs> usually, usually. Usually. Usually once a year. Ok. Eh, por la semana creo ¿Cuán, que, ¿verdad? ¿Cuán a menudo? ¿Cuán How often do you have meetings? ¿Cuán a menudo? ¿Qué tan seguido? Oh, a menudo. ¿Cuán a ¿qué menudo tan tiene reuniones? Yep. Entonces, Arvin dijo never. Arvin oh, never. has never meeting. I say always never, meeting. Never has meeting. Never, ah, ok. Never has meeting. Okay. okay. I okay. I have always. Y usted dice I, que tan a menudo I tiene reuniones. Have, Luis, I always have. ¿No? I always I have. I always have. Yes. Okay. Okay. Daisy can not okay. uh, connect. A Daisy como que le está dando problemas el audio. Sí tiene problemitas, creo. Daisy, you can send your sentence by chat. Puede enviar en el chat de Zoom su oración. Ah, ok, dice, pero ya más o menos estoy arreglando el audio. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can hear you clear. Sí. Te escucho claramente. Se me escucha. Two minutes, guys. Solo dos minutos le quedan. Ok, ok, ok. Ok, dos minutos. Uh, Daisy, um, how often do you have a meeting? Uh, one time. Sometimes. I, okay, sometimes I have meetings. Sometimes. Say the I, okay. Don Luis? No, it's calling. Teacher, how do you say receive? Uh, regaño, llamado de atención. Calling is regaño. Uh, but the question, how would you say, how often do you, I receive, it's called. No, I get. How I often? Get I get, I get. How often do you? Yeah. How often do you get? Okay, let me see. I can see. But how actually, often do you get? Is a, mm, it's a warning. Do you? Llamada de atención en el trabajo. Yeah, that would be how a warning. You... Okay, listen to me. En el caso de ustedes es un warning. Ok. Warning. Why? Because scold es cuando usted regaña a su niño. Ok. Ok. Maria, how often do you receive it? No. A warning. How often do you receive get warning? A warning? No. En este caso uh, sí. Receive a warning. Yes. Ok. Ok. Berta, yeah, how often do you receive warning? A warning, okay? A warning. In my case, uh, never. I never receive. 60 seconds, ladies. Only ever. Okay. Thank you. How often? Just wait for everybody to come back.
We are ready. Okay, guys, let's see, let's see. Almost everybody's here. I'm getting everybody. Let's see, Daisy, Evelyn, oh, I don't know. Let's see. Vladimir, Mauricio, oopsie, what did I do? Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. I need to check on something. Well, Sonia, due to the fact that you came late, ya que vino tarde, you are going to start. Okay, okay, let's see, Sonia. In your group, you had Mauricio and Oscar. I need you to ask your questions to Mr. Oscar, please. Le puedo compartir la pantalla? Yes, yeah, sure. Please. Okay. Oscar, all right. Oscar. Oscar se fue. No, ahí está. Okay. No, Oscar. Oscar. Oscar is here. Okay. He is here. I'm here. I'm here. How often do you take vacation? Oscar, Oscar you need to answer. Usted debe contestar, Oscar. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, the, uh, sorry, creo que perdí uh, señal por un momento. La, okay. Era the, the number two, Sonia. Sí. Uh, Sonia, ask, ask the question again, please, Sonia. Yes. How often do you take uh -huh. vacation? Ah, take vacation uh, three times a uh, year. Okay. Now listen up, Oscar. You have to answer. I take vacations. Three times a year. Thank you, teacher. Um, I take vacations. I take vacation. Uh, three three times. times year. A year. Times is plural. Times. Three times. Perfect. Thank you. Times. Okay, Sonia. Thank next you. question times. to Mauricio, please. Mauricio, how, how many coffees do you drink in the day? I I drink I drink coffee four times in the day. Okay. That's cool. Thank mm -hmm. you. Now, Oscar, I need you to please ask Sonia. Okay. Sonia. I drink. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how many times do you go to the supermarket? I go to supermarket once a week. Okay. Now, Sonia, please answer that question using an albert of an albert of frequency, please. Um. Entonces le preguntaría how often do you drink coffee? In the day? Yes. During the day? No, you answer that question using ah. an adverb frequency. Contestemela con un adverb de frequency. Like the question, okay. Oscar, yes. Once a week? Once a week. Okay, now, with an adverb, what would it be? Usually, rarely? Uh, usually, once a week. Okay. I usually go to the supermarket once a week. Okay. Okay. I usually I, usually, I go. Listen I to usually, me. Okay. I usually go to, go to the supermarket once a week. Okay. I need to explain mm -hmm. something. Let's see. I usually go to the supermarket once a week. Let's stop with the sharing. I will I will explain something. Vamos a salirnos un momento de acá. Okay, I'm sorry. Let me share with you. It's better if I explain it now. Es mejor si se lo explico ya. Okay. Okay, where is it? Where is it? Oh, right here. Okay, listen up. She says, I, oops, 
Let's do this, like this. She says, I usually go to the supermarket once a week. Okay, guys. Let's remember the structure, please. I need you to pay attention to this. We have subject, okay? Subject plus the adverb of frequency plus the verb. Remember, the adverb comes before the verb. Then we have the complement right? And in this specific case, we have a time expression. And time expressions always, all the time, they come at the end. So let's check it out. It goes like this. Okay. Let's see. We have the subject, we have the adverb, we have the verb, we have the complement. Now, the complement in this case is all this, right? This is the complement. And actually, once a week is part of the complement. Now, what is the difference? Okay, let me get something. The difference is that when we say once a week, this expression, it is also a time expressions. And time expressions, they all the time come at the end, at the end of the sentence. Okay, so when we have a time expression, it goes at the end of the sentence. Mm -hmm. When we have an adverb, the adverb comes before the verb. Okay, any question, guys? Preguntas acá? Esta es porque estamos viendo la estructura del adverbio, pero sí sería incorrecto entonces que yo solo respondiera: I go to the supermarket once a week. O es no más porque sí tenemos que ver este tema y lo estamos practicando. Yeah, you can say I go to the supermarket once a week. That's okay. okay. The sentence is mm -hmm. correct. But today we are working with adverbs of frequency. Okay. And actually, if you notice, Sonia, when you say I usually go to the supermarket once a week, actually that's a more complex sentence and it's easier to understand. Okay. Realmente, a pesar de que se ve una oración más compleja, es más fácil de entender. Dice, normalmente, usualmente, a menudo, go to the supermarket once a week. Uh -huh. Right? Sometimes, you can say that sometimes when there's an emergency, you go twice a week. Okay? okay. I usually go to the supermarket once a week, but sometimes... I go twice. Okay. You see? Yeah, because uh -huh. sometimes uh, I realize that I forgot something. A veces me cuenta que se me olvidó algo. Like, uh -huh. I don't know, like toilet paper. I forgot buying toilet paper, so I go running a second time, right? Okay. Yeah. Is it clear now? Ahora sí. Everybody? Me comparte esa estructura por el celular. I sent it already. Oh, hold on. Okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Yes, ya se la gente. Yeah, yeah. gracias. Thanks. Okay, just give me a second. Just give me a second. Okay, let's see. Now, next, Vladimir. 
Who did you work with? ¿Con quién me trabajó? I work with Elwood and Sandra. Okay, let's see, let's see. I need you to please start asking Elwin. Teacher, voy a compartir yes. pantalla. That's perfect. Vladimir. Hello. That's me. Okay. Every, how often do you have a day off? Usually, I take day off a uh, week, two, and three times. How often do you verify route tracks? I verify route always a day. Today. How, how often do you work at night? I work tonight three times a week. Okay. Okay, right, perfect. Sandra. Yes, let's do it like that. Sandra? Hi. Ah. How often do you check email? I check my email always. I always check my email. Okay, I always check my emails. How often do you call clients? I usually call clients every day. How often do you reply email? I always answer my emails. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, Sandra, please ask Vladimir. Vladimir, Hello. how often do you take a shower? Oh, well, I always take a shower every day. <laughs> how often do you eat pupusas? Well, I always eat pupusas every day at breakfast. Sorry, teacher. The teacher okay, no le gusta. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. But anyway. <laughs> Hi. How often do you take break? Well, I usually take break uh, twice in a day. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. No, thanks to you. Who was sharing? Perfect. Let's see who is next. Next, let's see, let's see, let's see. I still got time. Tengo tiempo para un grupo más. Who's gonna be? Who's gonna be? Let's see. Mm -hmm. Arvin, you got with Daisy and Luis Armando. Oh, but Daisy has problems. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, I start. Yes, please. Okay. Daisy, how often do you take a shower? I always take a shower. Okay. Um, Daisy, how often do you work in, in the computer? I always work in the computer. Okay. Um how often do you meeting? Do you have meeting? Do you have meeting? I sometimes do you I sometimes have meeting. Have, have a meeting. Okay, perfect. Up to there. Now I need to please, Susana, I need you to ask Berta. Susana. Hello. I have a Hello. problem with the microphone. 
Hi, Bertha. Okay. Hi. Um, How often do you arrive early to the office? At office? Arrive. 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 Sorry. I open, I always arrive early at work. Perfect. Okay. How often do you make calls to clients? Um, I often make to call clients. Okay, perfect. Stop there, Susana. Thank you very much. I need, please, right now, I need, I need. Karen, I need you to ask Walter Arana. Who else do you make reports? Uh, I make reports uh, always. Okay, day. I'm sorry. I always make reports. I always make mm -hmm. reports. Perfect. Next question, Karen. Karen, your microphone. Perdón, lo apreté y no se desactivó. Walter Ruiz. Who, else, who often do you take a uh, coffee? I always take a coffee in the morning today. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Walter. Karen, no remember, how often? How often? How okay. often? How often? Perfect. Thank, Thank you, you very much. No, thanks to you guys. I need to get the attendance. Again, let's see, Alfonso Antonio Cabrera. It's not here. Arvin Enrique Ramos Mundo. Present teacher. Berta Maritza Molina de Villalta. Present. Claudia Guadalupe Alfaro López. Daisy Elizabeth Zelaya Gómez. Present teacher. Elvin Daniel Sevillano Deras. Present teacher. Evelyn Patricia Caballero de Molina. Present teacher. Ivania Elizabeth Rodríguez Ramos. Ivania, no here. No here yet. Okay. Luis Armando Leiva Rodas. Present teacher. Mauricio Arnoldo Quintanilla Cuellar. Present teacher. Oscar Armando Rodríguez Rodríguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ricardo Alberto Hernández Monge. Here. Roxana Claribel Trejos de Pérez. Here. Sandra Yanira Moreno Sarabia. Present. Sonia Mabel Lazo González. Present. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Vladimir Antonio Martínez Molina. Present teacher. Walter Alexander Arana Cortés. Present teacher. Walter José Ruiz Ayala. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, let's go back. Teacher, no me mencionó. Yes, I did. Karen. Karen. Dice que sí, lo Karen Iset García Rodríguez. Okay, you are right. You were missing. I'm sorry, Karen. Tiene usted la razón. Okay, one, two, three. Mm, 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 mm. Now I got a problem. Four. Hmm. What happened? Alguien se me ha desconectado. No, right. Let's see. Arvin, Dorta, Daisy, Edwin. Evelyn, okay, this is the problem, perfect. Okay, let's continue, guys. We go back to the manual to page number 22, okay? 
In page 22, we have two questions and we are going to work with those two questions, okay? The question says, the first one, how often do you write memos? Let's see, Sonia, how often do you write memos? Okay. Yeah, no problem, no problem. Vladimir, what about you? How often do you write memos, Vladimir? Yeah. Yeah. I rarely write memos. Rarely? Okay. Rarely, okay. yes. What about you, Oscar? How often do you write memos? Oscar. He's free. He writes memos usually. He you usually sure. write memos. Thank you, Karen. Usually. Thank you. <laughs> no podía okay. encender mi micrófono. <laughs> no problem, no problem, Oscar. Edwin, what about you? How usually do you write memos? I never, teacher. I never? Write memos. Perfect. Thank you. I'm sorry, guys, <laughs> but remember in class, you have to give me full sentences. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Walter, Arana, tell me, how often do you give instructions to your coworkers? Um, repeat, please. How often do you give instructions to your coworkers? Uh... Oh. I instruct you to your core worker every day. Okay, I always okay. I always give instructions to my coworker. Okay. Okay, teacher. Now let's see. Mauricio, what about you? How often do you give instructions to your coworkers? Um usually rarely? Usually, mm, depended. It depends on the day. Yes, depend on okay. the uh, el work the uh, Okay, perfect. No problem, Mauricio. Thank you. Now let's see, Sonia. You didn't save yourself. No se me sabo. How often do you give instructions to your coworkers? I always. Give instruction at my work, my coworker. Okay, perfect. Thank you. What about you, Evelyn? Evelyn, you home? I think no. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Who else do I have here? Mr. Luis Leiva, tell me how often do you give instructions to your coworkers? Can you repeat, please? How often do you give instructions to your co-workers? Co-worker? Yes. Co-worker, he, he's co-worker, please. Okay, no, 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 listen, listen. Co-workers, compañeros de trabajo. Okay, okay. I usually... Oh, I usually sorry. give instructions Yes, I usually give instructions to my co-workers. Co-workers. Okay, thank you. Now let's see, what about you, Susana? Tell me, how often do you give instructions to your co-workers? Um, I, in how the answer is different because we have a, Bien definido lo que tenemos que hacer. Ya no, no. So you never, you never. Okay. Right? I hardly ever give instruction of my coworker. Perfect. Because Thank we you. have, because we have, ¿cómo se diría lo demás? Porque tenemos bien establecidas las funciones. We have our, our obligations, our obligations well defined. Thank you. We have our 
obligations well defined. This. Okay. Perfect. Thank you very much. Now, guys, do you remember that you check out? I send you the uh, small recording, okay? The send the audio of the conversation. This is how we're going to do it, okay? We are going to, I'm going to project it to you. You are going to listen and read. I'm going to read it three times. Then I'm going to divide you in pairs. When I divide you in pairs, you can use the recording to practice if you have any doubt. Cuando lo divide en pareja, pueden utilizar la grabación para practicar. Ok, that's the idea. And if you have any question, just raise your hand and I will go to your group. Y si tienen alguna duda, eh, me ponen la manita ahí y los visito en el grupo. Ok, right now I'm going to share with you the conversation. And the conversation is right here. Okie dokie, let's see. Okay, the conversation says, please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and Luke, please supervise the new intern. Absolutely. I repeat. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and Luke, please supervise the new intern. Absolutely. One last time. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and Luke, please supervise the new intern. Absolutely. Okay, guys. Let me get you divided in groups. Groups are created, please jump in. And Luke, what's Luke? Oh, Luke. 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 Please supervise the new intern. Absolutely. It's Luke. Teacher. Luke. I'm sorry. It's Luke. 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 And the memo. Así es. Mm -hmm. Yes. Ok. Memo. Memo. The new. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need 
anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right. Hey, wait. Give me one of this mem memo sticker, please. Sure. Here you go. Here you go. Oh, and Luke, please supervise the new intern. Absolutely. Change. Okay. Those, those, Walter, those. Those. Thank you, teacher. Those. One more Thank time. You. Your star. Okay. Please, Sam, this. Hi, teacher. Hello, Ivania. Welcome. Thank you. Good evening. Teacher, una, una consulta. Um, pronunciation and um, the word and the look in the second part of yes. Es que no, no entendí bien cómo se dice my um. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am. Ah, yes, yes, ma'am. Um. Ma'am. Ma'am. Like okay. Thank you, teacher. Esa palabra okay. se la expliqué en, en el módulo pasado, Ivania. ¿Se recuerda? Que le dije que era para referirse a una señora de autoridad. Uh -huh. De los misses y todo eso, ¿verdad? Yes, exactly. Ma'am, uh -huh. is uh -huh. when, you, when you refer to a lady that is in a position uh -huh. of authority over you. Cuando usted se refiere sí. a una señora que está en una posición de autoridad por encima de usted. Ah, oh, sí, pero aquí tengo la... Okay, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Um, Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meetings. The new date. The new, the new date. Date. Oye, date. Okay. date. The new please. date for the uh -huh. general meetings. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look. Please supervise the new interns. But can we repeat it? Okay. Sure. Sure. Ah. Sure. Here you go. Sure. Sure. Here you go. Here you go. Perfect. Okay. Absolutely. Ah, perdón, perdón. Dale, dale. Sí, sí, perdona. And look, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Okay, perfect. Absolutely. 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 Ar Arvin, actually. 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 Okay. Actually. Perfect. Okay. Now, Vladimir, do you remember what is the meaning of ma'am? Like Mrs. Is when you, yes, it's like Mrs. when you refer to a lady that is in a position of authority over you. Like my boss. Es cuando, sí, exacto, cuando usted se refiere, Arvin and Edwin, bueno, Edwin sí estuvo conmigo el módulo pasado. Este, yo le explicaba el módulo pasado que ma'am quiere decir señora, pero cuando se refiere a una mujer que está en una posición de autoridad por encima de usted. Es una expresión de respeto. Ok. That's ma'am. Teacher, in this case, like Sonia in, in, in her company. Yeah. In her company, everybody says ma'am. Ma'am. <laughs> everybody says okay. ma'am to her. Todos le dicen ma'am because she's the boss. She's the manager, right? Yeah, she's okay. the manager. <laughs> Edwin, you start. Okay. One last. Uh, okay. okay. Just one minute. Okay. Okay, teacher. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, I'm sorry, Elwin and Vladimir. I think the system. Me quedé hablando solo. Yeah, el sistema me lo sacó a todos. Me dejó en visto. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that happened. That <laughs> happened. Because actually, when I hit uh, end, end the rooms, 
cuando yo le presiono que finalice el dos rooms, automatically it gives you 60 seconds. Automáticamente le da 60 segundos. But when the connection is not that good, cuando la conexión está así, like for the wind or the rain, como por el viento o la lluvia, it kicks you out automatically. Lo saca todo automáticamente. I'm so sorry. My apologize. Mis disculpas. Okay. Let's see. I was explaining some of you. I was reminding some of you. Les recordaba algunos. That the expression man is, is like Mrs. Como decir señora. But to a woman that is in a position of authority over you. Pero es una expresión de respeto hacia una mujer que está en una posición de autoridad por encima de nosotros. ¿Ok? So, nobody says, nobody says to Sonia, Mrs. They say, ma'am. Because her position is a position of authority. ¿Ok? In the case of we, the men, no problem. It's Mr. And remember, sometimes... Remember that the title, esos pequeños títulos, Mr., Miss, Mrs., remember, you use them with the full name or with the last name. Se usan con el nombre completo o con el apellido. Never with the first name. So I cannot say Mr. Oscar. I have to say Mr. Oscar Rodriguez or I have to say Mr. Rodriguez. Right? But you do not use it with the first name. Pero no se utilizan con el primer nombre. Okay. Y si le quiero decir el primer nombre, ¿cómo se lo digo? The, if you use it with the first name, it's because you are not... Uh, lo que sucede es esto, funciona distinto que en el español. Perdón que se lo explique en español. Uh -huh. eh, funciona distinto que en español. En el español, desde el momento que ponemos el señor, automáticamente ya se volvió una expresión de, re, de respeto. En el inglés... Usted le pone el título, el mister, pero eh, le agrega el nombre completo o el apellido. No es correcto decir Miss Karen. Okay, I have to say Miss Karen García or Miss García. Okay, ¿por qué? Because costumbre. when you are, the, the situation is this, that in English, in American English, When you are on a first name basis with someone, como dicen eso en español, okay? Uh, but it's like this, on a first name basis. Uh, cuando usted se trata con alguien, con el primer nombre. Nombre de pila. Yeah, that's when you, when you have a close relation or an informal relation. Es para una relación un poquito informal, ¿ok? Si nosotros okay. estamos en una first name basis, in English, that means that I am not, when I say, hey Karen, do you, do you work all day? Si yo le hago la pregunta así, hey Karen, do you work all day? Le estoy diciendo, hey Karen, para nosotros se entendería como, ¿trabajas tú todo el día? Right? Mm -hmm. If I say, Hey, Miss Garcia, do you work all day long? Hey, señorita Garcia, ¿trabaja usted? Okay. Is the title the one that changes the you from informal to formal? Okay. Es el título el que, ese título, Mr., Miss, Mrs., el que cambió el you de formal, de informal a formal. Okay. 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 Si nosotros usamos el primer nombre de alguien, we are being informal. ¿Ok? Estamos Lo tuteamos. Informal. Yes, exactly. Ok, perfecto. And Americans, they are pretty informal in some levels. Los americanos son muy informales en algunos niveles. ¿Ok? In some levels. And you notice how they are because they use that. The first name basis. If you see them talking and referring to each other on a first name basis, that means that they are friends or they are they have an informal relationship. Okay. Cuando digo una, una relación informal, no quiere decir que no se da entre compañeros de trabajo, sino como Karen dice, se tutean. Con algunos compañeros de trabajo nos tuteamos y con algunos no, ¿verdad? That's normal. 
that happen. But I mean, it's like uh, it doesn't have, to, it doesn't usually happen with the main boss. Normalmente no pasa así con el jefe, verdad? Like with Mr. Rodriguez, it's not that common that everybody says, "Hey, Oscar," right? No es muy común que todo el mundo le diga, "Hi, Oscar." You see, because it's it's different. In Spanish, we say, "Eh, hey, el señor Oscar." Oh, the title make it formal. In English, you need the title and the last name, or the title and the full name. Okay, is in, it clear now? In Azure, Hardware. Okay. <laughs> Ahora sí entendimos. Está claro. Sí. Yes. Teacher. Y cuando digamos en otras empresas la gente usualmente se dice eh, la profesión como ingeniero, leiva, como licenciado, cuellar. Okay. En inglés cómo sería o no se usa eh, como su título. It depends. En algunos lugares. Casi no se usa, pero en algunos lugares es así. It depends on the company. Depende de la compañía. Like with doctors, we always say doctor. Okay? And some people even introduce themselves with the title. Y algunas personas se presentan con el título. That happens. Okay? And uh, in English, it depends on the company. Okay? Depende de la compañía. Because some companies, they, the when you get to the job interview, and algunas compañías allá cuando llega usted a la entrevista de trabajo, they tell you, okay, uh, we try to have a, a kind of friendly relationship, a little bit informal, so everybody here is on a first name basis. Algunas empresas en Estados Unidos tratan de tener un ambiente informal, bajo la teoría de que crea mejores relaciones interpersonales y les permite elaborar mejor, comprenderse mejor, and approach all the, all the problems in a more uh, collective way, y enfocarse hacia todos los problemas de una manera más uh, colectiva. And I mean, that's, in, uh, in American companies, that's pretty common. En compañías norteamericanas sucede mucho, okay? So, depending on the company, they are or very informal or they are pretty formal. Puede ser que algunas sean informales y que algunas sean muy formales. ¿Ok, Karen? So, it depends on the company. And actually, in the United States, they tell you right at the beginning. Y en Estados Unidos se lo dicen al inicio. ¿Ok? And that will define how you are going to be treating everybody. Y eso le va a definir cómo va a tratar a las personas. ¿Ok? Oh, ok, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let's see. I'm sorry. Mr. Oscar Rodriguez, I need you to please do the conversation with Sonia. Okay. I'm gonna start. start. Yes, Sonia, please, uh, you start. Okay. okay. Oscar, please send this package. Uh, yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right. right. Uh, give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and Luke, please supervise the new intern. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Now, Susana and Luis Armando. Susana, you start. Okay. Please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and Luke, please supervise the new interns. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Wow, Susan is very strong. Okay, let's see. Karen and Mauricio. Yep. Karen, you start, please. 
please send this package. Yes, 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 ma'am. Do you need any anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meetings. Right away. Give me one of those memo sticker, please. Sure. Here we go. Um, Mauricio, please Mano. supervise the news inter. Absolutely. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Those, those, Mauricio. And remember, those, those. ma'am, ma'am, longer, ma like that. Perfect. Because if you say ma'am, ma it can sound, podría sonarle algunos, like mom, como mamá. So it's longer, ma'am, mom. Okay, um. perfect. Now let's see. Elwin and Ivania. Please, Ivania, you start. Okay. Elwin, please send the please send the packs. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo sticker, please. Sure, here you go. Oh, and please supervise the new intern. Absolutely. Okay, thank you. Here, here you go, here you go. Okay, now let's see. Arvin and Berta. Berta, you start. Okay, please send the package. Yes, um, yes, ma'am, do you need anything else? Actually, yes, please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right, why? Give me owns of those memories sticker place a, a sticker please sure here you go oh and look please supervise the new interns absolutely okay perfect now uh, let's see let's see give me one of those memo stickers. Give me one of those. Okay, give I'll... me one. Okay, give me one. Give me one of those. Perfect, okay. thank you. Now let's see. Uh, now is the turn for Walter Ruiz and Sandra. Okay. Who starts? I want to. Uh, Sandra starts. Yes. Please send this page. Yes, ma. Do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new date for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of two, two memo secret, please. Sure. Harry, here you go. Oh, and look, please just supervise for the new intern. Absolutely. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Now, Daisy and Vladimir, please, Daisy, you start. Uh, please send this package. Yes, ma'am. Do you need anything else? Actually, please, please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right away. Give me one of those memo stickers, please. Sure. Here you go. Oh, and look, please supervise the new intro. 
Absolutely. Okay, guys. Now, let's see. Is anybody missing? Juraría que me falta alguien. No? Walter Arana, did you do it? Sure. You're missing, right? Esta me falta, ¿verdad? Yes. Okay, let's see, Walter Arana, who's going to help you? Ivania is going to help you, Ivania. Hi, teacher. You start, please. Okay. Please send it, please send it this pack. Yes, Package. Mom. Package, Perdón. Yes, mom, do you need anything else? Actually, yes. Please write a memo about the new day for the general meeting. Right away. Gain one of those memo sticker, please. Sure, here you go. Uh, and look, please supervise the new intern. Absolutely. Okay, thank you very much. Now guys, I need to explain something. And this is grammar. It's very simple, very, very simple. And all the time you will listen to me and you will listen to teacher telling you that in English, you always need to have a subject in the sentence, right? Todo el tiempo van a escuchar que los profesores de inglés les decimos que todas las oraciones necesitan un sujeto in English, okay? In Spanish, we do not do it all the time because they Sometimes the subject, well, most of the time we can infer the subject because of the verb. En español inferimos el sujeto por el verbo. Like, uh, estudias? Oh, you already know that I'm saying tú, right? Now, eh, estudiamos? You already know that I am saying we, right? Estudio. Okay, you know that I'm talking about I, right? In Spanish, it's very simple. But in English, we need to be specific. We always place a subject before the verb, right? And that's one of the things that makes English easier. Y es una de las cosas que vuelven en inglés super fácil. The fact that we always place the subject. El hecho que siempre le ponemos el sujeto. Makes the English easier because in Spanish, man, we are changing the verb all the time. In español le vamos cambiando el verbo. I mean, for simple present, we change it a lot. Like, estudio, yo estudio, tú estudias, él estudia. That's three different versions of the verb. Ahí cambió el verbo en tres ocasiones. Estudian, estudiamos. Five different changes. In English, you don't have that problem because you just do it with the subject. So, simplemente lo hacemos con el sujeto. But you need to have the subject all the time in order to be clear, okay? To have a complete sentence. Like, in this moment, listen to me. Write a letter every day. Who is the subject? ¿Quién es el sujeto? Could be, I write a letter every day. You write a letter every day. We write a letter every day. They write a letter every day. We don't know what is the subject, right? No sabemos cuál es el sujeto. We need to be specific. In English, we do it like that. We are specific by using the subject. But there's just one exception to the rule. And the exceptions are nice. Deception in this case is when we are giving commands, okay? Commands, well, the word command, if you want to translate it like strictly into Spanish, it's like órdenes. But the word command can also be used as instructions. We use them in Spanish a lot. Like uh, you see a command when it says stop. Uh, whoever who drives, todos los que manejan, you understand when it says, ceda el paso. They are talking to you, right? El sujeto en ese caso es you. In English, we have it. Like, let me show to you. I'm sorry. 
Let me show you something. Okay. Just give me a second. Okay, it's like this. We have this is very common. Don't oops, my bad. Don't tap on the grass. We know this one, right? Don't step on the grass. This is very common. Este es muy común. No patear la, no pisar la grama. Okay? Don't step on the grass. Now, what is the subject? Oh, the subject is very simple. The subject is you. But the situation when we have commands is that we do not write the subject. Is the only exception in English, okay? You don't need the subject when you are giving instructions, okay? You don't step on the grass. Uh, the teacher in a class tells you, hey guys, open your books. Be on time every day. You perhaps tell your kids, hey, clean your room or when you are cooking something here for five minutes in all these cases the subject is always you but as i told you we do not write it okay this is not written. Esto no se escribe. You just infer it. Okay? And these are commands. Y esos son los commands. Commands, they never have the subject because we know already that the subject all the time is going to be you. Do you understand? Entendemos? So, so. Okay. Command. Los commands son expresiones que utilizamos para dar instrucciones. No llevan sujeto porque el sujeto siempre es you. Inician directamente con el verbo. Okay. Just give me a second. Alfonso is having problems. Okay, so command is like that, as I told you, they start with the verb, like, let's see, let's see, let's see, ladies, Hey, Sonia, can you cook? I can. Okay, I cannot. Please tell me, how do I prepare something simple? Okay, how do I prepare scrambled eggs? Como preparo scrambled eggs? I don't know, scrambled eggs. <laughs> Huevos picados. Ah. I am prepare a scramble egg with, uh, how do you say, mantequilla? Butter. Okay, but give me the instructions, uh, okay? I have, I have everything here. Tengo todo acá listo. You, I just need you to tell me the instructions. Solo dígame las instrucciones. 
What do I do? Just me. Uh, take a uh, butter. Pan. Butter. Pan. On a casserole. Pan. Pan. Okay. Um, y como, como es, y póngale la mantequilla o, o colóquele la mantequilla. Put, put the butter. Put, put the butter. Butter. And uh, butter or butter. 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 And uh, hot onion. Okay. And hot eggs. <laughs> yes. Okay. And that's it. Perfect. Thank you. If you notice, guys, thank you, Sonny. If you notice, she was telling me starting okay. the sentences with the verb. Si nos dimos cuenta, ella comenzó todas las oraciones con el verbo. Okay. Put, cook. Uh, actually, it's uh, drop the butter. And let's see, uh, perhaps turn on the, the, the oven. Hubiese sido bueno que encendiéramos la cocina. Turn on the oven. That helps. But if you see, all those are verbs. And we start right with the verb. Okay? Now, homework. Before I forget, antes que se me olvide. Homework. For tomorrow, I need you. Okay. Listen up. I am... Do you remember that the other day you gave me the welcoming letter? El otro día me hicieron una carta de bienvenida, right? I am the new employee, guys. And I'm going to be, uh, you're, you're taking vacation. Ustedes se van de vacaciones. I am the new one, okay? I'm going to cover your position. So I need you to please write a list of instructions for me to follow, okay? Necesito que me hagan el listado de instrucciones para que yo siga. While I'm going to be covering your position. Mientras yo cubro su posición. How, do, how are you going to do that? Simple. Start with the verb. ¿Ok? Simplemente comiencen con el verbo. ¿Ok? We are going to make it easy. And you are lucky we are not in a presential class. Y tienen suerte que no estamos en clases presenciales. Because I will make you present a receipt. Lo hago que me hagan una receta. And that's complex, believe me. But we are going to start right now with your position. You are going to describe me your position, okay? How? Remember, giving the instructions. I'll make you an example. Les voy a dar un ejemplo. Okay, let's see. Teach, oops, teach a class. Teach a class for uh, English for work. Okay. You're going to teach a class for English for work. And these are the steps. Okay. Uh, prepare a lesson plan for each class. Then, oops, I'm sorry. This is an example of what do, imagine that you are going to cover me. So I tell, oh, you have to prepare a lesson plan for each class. Uh, turn in lesson plans on Wednesday midnight. That's my deadline. I have to turn in the lesson plans all every Wednesday before midnight. Now let's see. 
prepare your own PPT. Be ready five minutes before the class. Upload your videos every day. Okay, if you see, I am here giving you an example of my activities. In this case, if you see, I start just with verbs. Look, prepare, turn in, again, prepare, be ready, upload. Those are verbs. What is the subject of? Oh, the subject all the time has been you. Todo el tiempo el sujeto fue you. I am giving the instructions, right? Any question about the homework? ¿Alguna pregunta con la tarea? Is it clear now? Yes? Let's see, let's see, let's see who's going to help me. ¿Quién me va a ayudar? Vladimir, open up your microphone. Okay. Okay, Vladimir, you're going to help us. Give me the example. I'm the new employee, so please tell me the list of activities I need to perform in order to cover your position. Okay, well, first, come early to work. You come, you come early to work. Then you don't need to you, say you. Not uh, me. You. Okay, come early to work and start up the system okay. of, of the computer. Well, and review the alerts and all cyber tools, cyber security tools. Uh, check your email. Okay, replace, replace emails if 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 is necessary. Eh. Etc. That's it. Perfect. <laughs> yes. If you see, thank you very much. If you see, he started saying just the verbs, all the verbs. Okay. All the sentences Tengo started un... just with the verb. Yes, Susana, tell me. Tengo una consulta, pero en español. Tell si me. Puedo. Yes. Okay, queda como regla que una indicación inicia con el verbo. Yes. Pero cuando en, en ocasiones uno quiere como que recalcar algo y decís, bueno, en inglés, always check um, stock of product. O sea, como que yes, se puede you can realizar. Use the you, can, you can use the albert, but not a subject. Ah. Utilice el albert, okay. pero no yes. el sujeto. Okay. Always check now, up. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. Now, something else that you have to take into an account is that, I mean, it will be very good if when you are speaking, cuando estamos hablando with somebody and we are giving instructions, sometimes please include a please, okay? I mean, it's more polite and it doesn't feel like too strong. That's the problem with English. So with English, if I tell you, hey, Sonia, mm, turn on your microphone. That's a command, right? But you feel it strong. What about if I say, Sonia, turn on your microphone, please? You see, the word please change the rhythm of the sentence, okay? so. It's always good if we include those little expressions, okay? Even sure, if what, you are the boss. Yes, Vladimir? What about the, Sonia, could you turn off your microphone, please? Okay, but that's another topic. Okay? Don't go too ahead, don't go too far ahead. No me los complique todavía. Because those are models, esos son models. And that's something different. Sorry, sorry. No problem, no problem. Yes, I mean, it's it's even more polite if you say, hey, could 
could you please turn on your microphone? That's being very polite. Would you mind turning on your microphone? Esas son todavía más amables. Podría. Le gustaría, por favor. But I, I mean, that's even more polite. But you will see it further on. Lo vamos a ver más adelante. Okay? Don't worry. Don't worry. Relax. Relax. Let's take a deep breath. Now, let's see, guys. I needed to ask you something. Necesito preguntarles algo. Y si no se acuerdan, me lo van a buscar entre sus anotaciones. ¿Cómo vamos con la tarea final? Do you remember? Okay. Yes. I'm okay. What was the last homework? What is the last homework? Tu tarea final. ¿Cuál es la tarea final, Vladimir? A description of, of your company. But... Okay. Uh, and how do you say it? Uh, um, todo in Spanish? Yeah, say it. Usted dijo algo así de las funciones de la empresa donde uno trabaja. Right? Okay. Yes. So, guys, we are... The mission. Second. Yes, Sonia, tell me. Yo entendí que debíamos de, de mencionar a qué se dedicaba la empresa en la que uno trabajaba y qué es lo que uno hacía ahí. Yes, please. Uh, elaborate and commercial one. Yeah, you can. Uh, an option was to elaborate a commercial, an ad, an advertisement. Una opción era presentar un comercial. Commercial. Okay. Yes. If you pre if you prepare a presentation, you can do that presentation like right there, right as you are right now. Como un speech. Yes. Esta presentación me la pueden dar como están aquí. If you want to prepare something more elaborate, no problem. Okay? Something that is going to help you, no problem. Si tienen algo que les va a ayudar, no problem. I mean, whatever you get handy to make it clearer, it's okay. I'm going to evaluate pronunciation, grammar, and punctuation. Okay? That's what it's mm. going to be evaluated. If you okay. can add something else, if you want a PowerPoint presentation or whatever, it's up to you. Yes, Vladimir? Mm -hmm. No, I'm going to throw those questions if, if I can use a PPT. Yeah, yeah. If you can, no problem. Okay? Video. Really what? If you have a video, that's okay. If you cannot, no problem. Si no pueden algunos de ustedes because of the time or the equipment or anything, si no pueden por el tiempo, el equipo, lo que sea. Teacher. It's just spoken. It's perfect also. También está perfecto. Yes, Karen. Uh, one limited day. It's for the last two days of classes. Es para los últimos días, dos días de clases. You will have okay. two minutes. When two are minutes. those days, teacher? Mm. That's, uh, let me see, we're in week number two. That means that this month. 25th and 26th. Okay. 25th and 26th. Okay. Thanks. Okay, right. thank you very much. Now, let's see, guys. Any question before I finish with you? Alguna pregunta? Was it clear today? Estuvo claro? Yes? Okay, don't forget your it's homework, clear. please. Don't forget your homework. And remember, tomorrow I'm going to be here at least five minutes before the class. I'm going to be connected, okay? Al menos cinco minutos antes estoy conectado. See you tomorrow. Thank you very much, everybody, except Alfonso. Alfonso stays with me tonight, right? Perfect. Thank you, teacher. Thank you very much. Good night. Have a good night. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good night, good night. Good night, everybody. Good night everybody. Good night, teacher. Thank you. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night, teacher. Bye bye. Bye, Arvin. Teacher. Yes. Puede mandar más más trabajo. I will tomorrow morning. Okay. Yeah. Please. Perfect. Thanks. See you tomorrow. See ya. Mr. Alfonso, hello. How are you? Hi, teacher. Uh, teacher, uh, one moment, please. And, no problem, no uh, problem, no problem. 
mientras se enciende la computadora, es que voy llegando a la casa y ah, un solo rollo. Uh, no problem, problem the connections okay. and my cell phone. I can imagine. Don't worry, don't worry. I will wait for you. Yo lo espero. Puedo, puedo hacer el, el, el intercambio. Me voy a salir one yeah. moment mientras conecto. No problem. Please. Thank you. And hello, let's wait a minute for Alfonso. Hello, mister. Hello, Alfonso. Can you hear me? Listen, listen to me? Yes, I can listen to you. Okay, very good, very well. <sighs> uh, okay, tell me, tell me, how can I help you? Como le podemos ayudar? Teacher, more question. Um, bueno. Poder, si podemos, bueno, si se pueden programar otras citas, me gustaría porque got, la, la clase de hoy, questions. la clase de hoy sí, bueno, mañana puedo ver el, el, el video. Yeah, pero, you can check out the video. Ready. Um, the first part of the class was the Alberts of Frequency. It was a review of the Alberts of Frequency. La primera parte fue, más que todo, Alberts of Frequency, ok? Then we did the conversation, the conversation that I sent the audio to the WhatsApp group. En el grupo de WhatsApp les mandé el audio, la pronunciación of the conversation for today's class. La pronunciación de la conversación para la clase de ahora. And then we started talking about the command. Luego comenzamos con los commands. Ok. Eh, alcancé a escuchar al final de, de la clase una tarea, una actividad. The big one, la grande, for the end of the course, la que es para el final del curso, or tomorrow's activity, o la, de, la tarea para mañana. Okay, I'll explain both. For tomorrow, I need you to please uh, imagine that I am covering for you. Yo voy a cubrir su puesto. You go for vacation, okay? But I need you to please write me the instructions, all the steps that I need to do in order to cover your position. Necesito que me escriba qué pasos debo seguir para cubrir su posición, su puesto, su trabajo, ¿ok? Ok. The instructions. Just remember, as those are commands, como eso usted me lo va a escribir utilizando commands, that means that you are not going to use subjects. No me va a utilizar sujetos. Because commands, they start right with the verb. Los commands comienzan exactamente con el verbo. And that's why I was giving you the example of my occupation. Por eso le daba yo el ejemplo de mi ocupación. As a teacher, right? ¿Vamos bien ahí? Yes. Now, the other activity. La otra actividad. The big one. La que es para el final del curso. You need to tell me, to explain, 
like uh, in a presentation, como en una presentación, you need to explain what is your, uh, what does your company do? ¿Qué es lo que hace su empresa? In general. Okay. Yes. Imagine that you are telling to somebody who doesn't know. Imagínese que le está diciendo a alguien que no conoce, no sabe. Or perhaps you're, imagine that you're creating a commercial for your company. Imagínese que usted no está, le han pedido que usted presente la compañía. Okay. Mm -hmm. You will have okay. two minutes to do that. You are going to tell me what your company do, does. And perhaps if you want, and if you have enough time, y si tiene suficiente tiempo, you are going to tell me what you do. Y me va a contar cuál es su función. What is your function in the company? Okay. Lo que hace la, la compañía en sí y la función que yo desempeño. Yes, like in the case of your company, they provide services for different companies in another country, right? Este es como oh, right. So, my company provides services for uh, some other companies in other countries. It is a call center where people call requesting information about specific companies like uh, software companies, travel agencies, and my co-workers, they attend calls, give information and support, right? You can tell me, okay, this company, they have, a, they have call centers in different countries, like they got in Costa Rica, me dice usted, no, en Nicaragua, I guess, lo que tienen, o tenían en Nicaragua. Can Michael? Yeah, your company. Yes. No, it's in Mexico, in the United States, in conference in Brazil. Brazil, Brazil. Okay. You explain all that. Usted explica todo eso. You see, you got a lot of information. Tiene mucha información to share. Okay. This is, is clear this, now? This is, es la grande. Yep. That's for the end of the course. Esa es para el final del curso. Final del curso. Y la de mañana es... Your position, the instructions. Okay. Uh, for example... Uh, ah, ayer la tenía. You, you can start by checking at... ¿A qué hora tengo que presentarme? Comienza con eso. Ah. Check in at 6 a.m. perhaps. Puede ser que se uh, oh, hay que presentarse a las 6 de la mañana. For example. Yeah. Check in right. at 6 a.m. Uh, leave your personal belongings in the locker. Deja sus uh, objetos personales en el locker. And then check all your tools and equipment. Revise todas sus herramientas y equipo. Stuff like that. Okay. Imagine that you are training a new employee. Imagínese que usted va a entrenar a un empleado nuevo. Y le va a decir cuáles son los pasos que va a seguir. Um, sí, sí. Uh, okay. For example, with, with five, with, from five to ten tops. Five minimum, ten tops. De cinco a diez oraciones. Okay. This is small or short? Yeah. From five to ten, the cinco a diez oraciones tops, maximum. Okay. Ready. Okay. Okay. Eh, dijo que había mandado al grupo. The audio. Audio. Mm. I sent audio. an audio. Yes, I sent an audio. Uh, let me tell you at what time. Como son las siete y fracción. 7.32. PM. Yes. Seven. For the class. Sí, sí. That's the pronunciation of the conversation for today's class. Okay. Es la pronunciación okay. por la conversación. Later, when the class finish, I will share the PowerPoint presentation. Cuando termine con usted, le voy a compartir la PowerPoint que vimos ahora. That it was a review of the... Fue un repaso de los uh, adverbs of frequency. Okay. Okay. So if you want to check it, you can check it. And if you have questions tomorrow, I will be here. Si me viene preguntas mañana, aquí estaré. 
10 okay. minutos antes Now, podemos conectar, no hay problema, ¿verdad? Perfect, yes, sure. Ahora solo déjenme oh, cerrar. Ready. Okay. So, you just let me know and I will help you in any subject that you need help with. Okay. Okay. Are we clear yes, about or... today's class? ¿Estamos bien con la clase de hoy? <laughs> with, the, with the homeworks, con las tareas. Yes. Okay. Sí. Now, what else I will need you to do is to check out the PowerPoint presentation I will share with you. Me revisa la PowerPoint que le voy a compartir. Check out the pronunciation of the vocabulary. Trabajamos en el manual in pages. Ah, ya se me escapó la página. Hold on, give me a second. Le voy a dar los números de las páginas. So you can check them. Yes, tell me. Dígame. Uh, I uh, check uh, checking, checking video the class today. Today es ahora, ¿verdad? Yes. Well, if you have time, si tiene el tiempo, revíselo. Today we work with pages number 21 and 22. Y trabajamos las páginas 21 y 22. Ok. Y white, okay. white others and private uh, teacher, I am Alfonso. Yes. yes, with that is enough. Con eso es suficiente, ok. So I will remember that I I have you in my list. Ok. Mañana yo por la tarde tal vez ahí. Yes, and I will take you into an account if I have free time with some others in the group. Si alguien más me dice que no puede quedarse para una de las sesiones, lo voy a tomar en cuenta para anotarlo. Ok, okay very good. Perfect. Have a good night. Take care. Sí, sure. Thank you very much. Bye bye.